okay guys welcome back so now it is time to add music to your you know to make your video more fun and more interesting music should always come last okay music is always the last thing i do after editing after i must have added my clips cut and join and another thing is that you can move clips around like tap and hold the clip and move it to where you want to move it okay yeah just tap and hold you see how i'm moving it you see that uh-huh now the music just tap on audio right here and it will bring you here here i've downloaded different types of music i download music from soundcloud and this app also came with very cool and interesting music as well you can either choose from the one you downloaded from soundcloud or from any app you downloaded music from which is the one that says songs you can see the red sign already there if you want to use the music that came from this app just tap on music assets once it brings you here you can scroll if you scroll you might not see any music the ones you are seeing here is the one i downloaded for myself from this very app just tap on the button that looks like home as always to get new things if you tap on it like so it will bring you here just allow it to boot and then this is where you have different types of songs can you see there are many like hundreds of songs here anyone you can you see the ones that says installed they are the ones i already downloaded anyone you play and you think you like it you can just hit on the download button and it will install let's say i like this one that says tomorrow just play it first click on the play button stop i'm going to download it like as i'm doing this now i already found a new song i love this one the beating and the tempo so i'm going to click on download and it will start downloading can you see that once it's done it will say installed anyone you've downloaded you will always see these black marks that said installed that is to show you that you have inst installed them and that you don't need to install them twice you can always come here and select songs okay yeah let's go back click on the x button it will bring you back here now let's look for that song that i just downloaded now it says tomorrow right yeah look at it here i'm going to pause it and to bring it to the timeline just tap on the cross or the plus sign here and it will automatically drop down in your timeline can you see that yellow light yellow um stuff here just tap on it you see so this is the song that we downloaded now and i want to reduce the volume i'll click on the volume sign drag it down you can take it upwards to after putting it to where you want it to be you can always play it back to you know hear how it sounds if it's too loud you can always bring it down if it's too low you can always bring it up or you can leave it at 100%. I'm going to leave it at 100% where it was originally. Click on the tick button to release. Now let's play this video. You see the music overshadows my voice. So I'm going to reduce it to 20% so that it can rhyme together with my voice. Tap on the music again, go to the sound, the volume, 
icon and bring it down to 20 percent tap to release you see everything works perfectly now and i like the sound now so i'm going to come back towards the very end of this video to trim the excess music off can you see if you keep going you see where the music stops so i'm going to press on it and then drag it all the way back if you don't want to go through this process you can always do it the fastest way just stop right here and use the um, scissors button which is this one once you tap on it click on trim to right of playhead it will just trim off can you see you can no longer move um, backwards and this is where this button comes to work if you want to go to the very beginning of this video just tap here it will bring you here if you want to go back again tap there again to bring you here you see or you can use your fingers to swipe you see okay now let's export this video is there any other thing i'm missing out here okay let's say i want this video to fade in like after playing it now i want it to fade in like show a black cover so I will make sure I bring it to the end, very end of the video and then tap this button right here. It will bring me here. You have audio, video and editing. You can always come and play here and see how everything works. So I'm going to pr press on the video and press on. You have video fading. That is when the video wants to start. If you want it to fade in, which my intro already has, the black um, space you see before the intro starts is the fade in. And the fade out, I'll just tap here and drag it to how long I want it to be. If you do it here, it will be like that. Well, that one is not even good. So I will leave it at 0.50s. Tap here and let's see what happens you see it covers instead of leaving my face on the screen it covers so that is that now let's export this video or let's play it in full screen before we export it so to go back you press the exit button which is this one it will bring you back here tap on your project which is the one that says untitled you tap on it and tap on the play button here okay this is how to play your videos in big screen before you start exporting it guys one thing i also want to advise is before you export your video make sure you watch it like two to three times so as to be very sure that there is no mistakes made okay before you export and upload to youtube this is what i always do no matter the length of that video i always watch it like three times before i export it even after exporting it i still watch it again before i upload to youtube that is just to be very very sure of what i'm doing so we are going to head back now it will bring us back here now let's go back further so you will understand i'm going to press on it again and now let's export this video if you want to uh, um, delete this project that you finished you can use the delete button you see that thing that looks like delete just delete it but we are not deleting it so i'm going to click on the share button it will bring us here this place is very important for you to know before you export your video if this video is on 4k quality you will set it here 
just drop it at 4k if it is on 2k quality that is if you recorded your video with your camera before editing you recorded with 4k quality or 2k you can bring it here i record i always record with full hd which is the 1080p by 30 frame per second this is where it's always i always leave it if you download this app new you will see that if i put it on full hd by 30 frames per second it, it this thing will be somewhere here low which means if i export it the video quality will drop to crap like you wouldn't even like the quality of this video so i always make sure that i drag it all the way to high you see all the way to high if this video was on 720p which is this one here 720p it will also be down here but because i already set everything to my liking that's why you are not seeing it but if you if you are using this app for the first time you will always see this this thing somewhere in between here and if you upload this video without taking it all the way to high the quality will not be good at all so always take it to the high whichever um quality you are using you see this 360 now is it has come down to low so i'll put it back to high but we are not using 360 i'm going to be using full hd that is why my videos are always vibrant sharp and it has a great quality and this one this high and low stuff here is called the bitrate of the video is based on video resolution and quality you can see it's written down there so i always leave it on high once i'm satisfied with my setting i just hit on that export and the video will start exporting once the video starts exporting just leave it give it some minutes to do it you know export once it's done you will definitely know so we are going to leave this to export once it's done we'll come back okay we are all done that's it it's very easy and simple guys if you want to replay this video you can simply click on this play button here to replay it or you can go to your gallery select the video and play it back to see if you are satisfied with what you've edited before you um upload to youtube so that is the final step uploading it to youtube and doing some of your other editing on youtube like typing the title of the video the thumbnail i'm going to be showing you guys how i edit my thumbnail how i screenshots or capture my picture how i edit and how i add it to my videos so guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, please if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up it wasn't easy at all for me to record this video so i'm hoping and looking forward to seeing your thumbs up guys it really will mean a lot to me because i put a lot of effort a lot of work a lot of time to make this video i'm sorry it took a little bit long but i hope you find it very helpful as always you can leave your questions in the comment section below if you have any more questions to ask me so thank you so so much for spending your time with me i'll see you all in my next video guys bye